My brother and I just got back from our school's business fair and I wanted to give you a quick report. Every year, kids from grades two through five set up booths at our school and try to sell their products. Overall, there are 56 booths total and my classmates sold products ranging from science fair kits to model airplanes. It was a super fun experience. Naturally, we sold t-shirts from Kid in Charge and they were a big hit. All told, we sold $390 worth of shirts in three hours and learned a ton about selling in the process. In one of my last videos, do you remember how I was so confident that targeting parents was the right strategy for sales? Well, that turned out to be the completely wrong strategy for the small business fair because many parents weren't the ones doing the shopping. Instead, they gave kids money to buy stuff at the fair and most kids were not interested in buying clothing. We also completely miscalculated the sizes for our shirts and ended up with a bunch of small sizes that we couldn't sell. On the sales and marketing front, we learned a ton about closing the sale. In the beginning, we greeted potential customers with the line, would you like to buy some t-shirts? But people were not interested. But when we led with, our mission at Kid in Charge is to inspire kids of all ages to start their own businesses. Would you like to buy some t-shirts? That strategy works so much better. In the beginning, we also sat down in our chairs the entire time and people weren't coming to our booth. But as soon as we stood up and smiled, more people came over to see our products. We learned that by stating our mission statement up front, smiling widely and laughing a lot, we could dramatically increase our conversion rate. Overall, our school's business fair was a great experience. But we discovered that selling is super difficult. In addition, manning the booth the entire day was exhausting, which is why I prefer selling online. By the way, you can check out the t-shirts we sold at the fair over at kidincharge.com. Thank you for your support.